All right, I have an admittedly insane idea, right? But um, but if I don't ask you this, you know, it's gonna it's gonna haunt me the rest of my life. Um, I, I want to keep talking to you. You know, I have no idea what your situation is, but I feel like we have some kind of uh, some some kind of connection, right? Right, great, yeah, well, uh, well, well, listen, here's the deal, this is what we should do, you should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town, come on, it'll be fun, come on, I mean, I don't know what we'll do, I don't know what we'll do, but what I do know is that I have to catch an Austrian Airlines flight tomorrow morning at 9.30, and I don't really have enough money for a hotel, I'll be honest, so I was just going to walk around and it'd be a lot more fun if you came with me, and if I turn out to be some kind of psycho, you know, which I'm not, then, um, <laughs> then you can just jump on the next train. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, think of it like this. And think of it like this. Um, jump ahead 10, 20 years maybe, and, and, and you're married. Only your marriage doesn't have the same kind of energy that it used to have, you know? You start to blame your husband. You start to think about all those guys you've met in your life and what might have happened if you picked up one of them, right? Right, well, I'm one of those guys. That's me, you know? So, so, so think of this as time travel. From, from, from then to now, to find out what you're missing out on. See, w what this really could be is a gigantic favour to both you and your future husband to find out that you're not missing out on anything. I'm just the biggest loser as he is, totally unmotivated, totally boring, and you made the right choice and you're, you're really happy.